What's up, y'all? This is me, 18 Wheels. Uh, it's an open box review of this uh, fan right here. It's a portable fan. I got it from Home Depot. The fan, this fan cost me uh, about $50. It's a little over $50, I forgot. But anyway, this is a hybrid fan. So by hybrid meaning it's battery or corded. So you can use a cord or a battery. It's pivoting head and, it, and it, I guess on battery time it runs over 12. It, it can run 12 hours of running time on one single charge. So I already uh, actually had Ryobi products before so I got batteries already and they are pretty decent so let's open this up let's see what it is let's get into it let's see what this box got to offer y'all see I got my Daniel my Daniel bone I ain't playing so we're gonna open this up all right oh say what's up to use the auto trans open this up y'all see that in the background it's the other truck it's one of the trucks i'm a car hauler but anyway we're gonna open this up we're gonna see what's in here let's open this bad boy up now the reason why i got this is because i can use this at home you know for my little you know my little whatever i'm doing at home you know uh because it's not all the time i like to lay up under the air condition and i can use this in the truck you know, just in case, like my air conditioner go out or something like that. Or I might not want to lay up under uh, air, you know, air condition. So I use my fan. All right, here we go. Let's open it up. Let's see what's in it. You know, it's just a fan. But this fan right here, it has on one single charge with the battery. It says on the outside of the box right here. 12 hours of running time on one single charge. And I can use this for the battery. So I got Ryobi batteries already. This is from the other Ryobi products that I have. Uh, and I could use a cord for this. So I don't know if it comes with the cord. Let's see. It doesn't show a cord on the outside. So I'm almost certain that this doesn't have a cord that comes with it. So let's pull it out the box. Let's see what it has. Oh, okay. So <clears throat> I can actually plug an electric cord up to the back of this. So you see how the back of this is this uh cord is right here. So uh, if you trying to get this fan, you know, this is something to be good. And it has a, a battery plug in the back. So I don't know if this should work let's let's try it my battery oh let's try this one now ryobi got different type of batteries now this battery i didn't had this battery this is an older battery i done had this battery for about almost five years now and it still works look let me let's hit the button let's see let's see if it still works i don't know does it we're gonna try if this doesn't, I have, if it's not charged, I have another battery. So I'm gonna plug it up. Okay, huh? this battery is dead. I gotta charge it. So let's, let's try another battery. Okay. So this battery is dead. I need to charge it up. Sorry, I'll charge it up. I've been using that battery for, for, uh, for, a, vac for a vacuum cleaner. I'm gonna get into that story later. Well, anyway, this is what it looks like. This is what you got. Uh, this bad, this uh, fan cost me about close to uh, a little over fifty dollars, but it has. It says it runs twelve hours on one single charge. So you got a high, a low speed, and a high speed. So I can use this in the truck, or I can use this at home. And plus, it has an actual cord where you can plug a regular cord up to the back of this. So, now let's look in here. Let's see, it's the owner's manual. Okay, it's in different languages. So, I know one of them is Spanish. I don't know what the other language is. 
So anyway, you got English and Spanish and the other language. It's like three different languages. So I guess this kind of like tells you how to take care of it or whatever. Uh, <clears throat> you got a little thing, I guess Ryobi put this in there so you can buy other Ryobi products. And you know what, I'm gonna tell you, I had a vacuum cleaner. Um, we're gonna get into that one real soon. I have, I have a vacuum cleaner, Ryobi vacuum cleaner. I have a Ryobi buffer because I do haul cars and from time to time, you know, I might have a tree tree branch uh, uh, mark on there. I might want to just get it off, you know. Uh, I have batteries, I have a battery charger. All right, now they have a little, this is a little pamphlet with all the little products that come that have Ryobi have. Uh, and this right here, this piece of paper, I don't know, this is, uh, I guess to let you know what time it is with uh, with the products. Oh, for different tools and stuff that they have and model numbers. They got air compressors, grinders, bolt cutters. They got some of everything. And I noticed like Ryobi products is pretty decent. Now, if you're a truck driver and you need a Ryobi, uh, you want to be thinking about getting some uh, Ryobi product, I, I I recommend it. So, all right, we're gonna put this up. I'm gonna take this out and put this back in the box because I'm. Gonna, this is mine. I'm using that, and I have another one. This vacuum cleaner right here just died on me. Right? Uh, I don't think it's gonna come on. Yeah, it died on me. I had this vacuum cleaner. This is a Ryobi uh, EverCharge. Now I had this Ryobi Evercharge, Evercharge for five years. Five years, it lasted me five years. And that's, that's, uh, that's real good for a dust buster vacuum cleaner. And I use this to clean up, you know, vacuum the inside of my truck, you know. So what comes, let's, let's open up the actual box. Let me put this over, this is garbage. Cause it's no good. I can't do nothing with it. I done had it for about five years, and it did it did its job. You know what I mean? That vacuum cleaner that I recommend if you're trying to get a dustbuster vacuum cleaner for for uh, uh for uh for like you know doing light jobs like cleaning out your car or maybe you might be using you might need to use this for like uh you know for your shop. This is perfect. But one thing I'm gonna tell you, do not, do not suck up any liquids with this one. Like water, anything that's moist, anything that's moist will kill this. So don't do that. All right, so I'm gonna open this up and we're gonna find out. I'm gonna show y'all what comes with it. Cause I, the last one, this one was, this is five years old right here. It just died on me a couple of days ago. So I went, I went to uh, Home Depot and I bought another one. Shop vac. You gotta go in the shop vac aisle if you wanna get one. So we're gonna open this up and find out what's in it. We're gonna find out first how to get in there, man. Okay. Okay. So, this. It only opens up one way. So, what comes in it? Okay, this. Must be some type of, okay, we're gonna throw that on the floor. I don't need it. Let's go open this up. This is the new one. Comes in the plastic. It should have uh, some things with it. Okay, here's, uh, I guess these are uh, instructions on how to operate it and stuff. But I know, I, I had this for five years, five years. And it just, it just died on me a couple of days ago. So you got an owner's manual. You have, uh, it comes with a charger, an actual charger. Now you don't have to go out and buy this. I bought this 30 minute charge for, uh, because uh, that's something I, I need, you know, cause I, I have a Ryobi buffer too. 
and the buffer it runs very good uh let's see this is just a list of items of all the other type of uh ryobi products got the model numbers and i, I know you, they got a contact number right here they got a kind you got to look for, look for it once you open it up if you decide to buy it now this unit right here i paid ooh, i paid like 70 about a little over 70 dollars for it and it's worth it last me five years i'm telling you this is uh, something to get so wait a minute let me put this back right here so y'all can see okay now i'm gonna open up I'm going deep in here, pull everything out of here that comes with it so we can see. Mm. Uh, this is nothing right here. Let me see. Let me open this up. No, this is just cushion. I'll throw that in the garbage. Okay. Oh, it comes with a battery. You get another battery. Uh, and that's it. Okay. So now what we got here. You get a vacuum cleaner, the shop, this is actually like a shop vac. So, this is my old one, five years. It's five years old, just died on me. And this is the new one, right here. So, I got this. Now, and I'm gonna tell you, the, this Ryobi, I'm gonna tell you one thing about this. Another thing, the suction, it sucks up pretty decent. It got a pretty good suction. So you trying to get like dust stuff or you know whatever you got that's that's uh that you need that that you need to clean up you can use it but do not suck use this to uh try to clean up anything that's moist or wet or you know water do not suck water up or nothing with that because it'll die it'll kill it okay so it comes with the charger let me see it's an ever charge, I guess. You just plug it up. Let me open. I'm taking this all out the bag because I'm not returning this. And then plus I got I got a uh I got the uh, warranty through the store just in case something go wrong with it. Alright, now we're gonna open this up. You get a battery. They give you a lithium battery. Right. You sit down. Take this off the pot. Damn, I got all these batteries. And these bat these batteries are still good. My old batteries. I done had these batteries for a minute. That's because I got other products. So I'm gonna plug this up. Right? I guess you stick it down in there like this. Alright, it's in there. So open this up this is you got a filter got a little filter on the inside of it let me open this up got a cup it's a little filter dust filter you got to clean this out between uh, uses clean this out that's how come mines last so long last five years five years is good for a shop vac for one of these little dust buster shop vacs so plug it up like this and I guess you hit the button for, to cut it on. And it has a really good suction, you know. I'm just sucking up a little stuff right here. But it works pretty good. It's good. So this battery might be charged up a little more. Let's yeah. charge up more. Let's see. Pick that up. You pick up the cord. Y'all see? Y'all see how strong that is? Okay. Well, let's see. Let's see if it's strong enough to hold this knife up. Okay. Okay. Well, the sucks are not that strong, but y'all get the idea. It's pretty strong. I mean, you can tell. It's pretty strong. So this is 
a good vacuum to get. I mean, it's something good for uh, if you're driving a big truck, you know what I mean, cross country and you need something, you know, just to keep your truck clean, just to clean the floor when you, uh, you know, in between when you're driving, when you got your brake, this is a damn good vacuum cleaner because this right here just died on me a couple of, a couple of days ago. And it only lasts, it lasts me five years. So, you know, for a dust buster, this ain't bad. All right, uh, now for the charge. When you charge this up, I guess you can plug this up to the wall. This is a plug, you plug up to the wall. You can either charge it like this, plug it, set up on the wall and it clamps to the wall. And you can charge it like this. Uh, I'm not gonna mount this because I'm using this in the truck. So I'll just use my little charger right here when I need to charge it. So, all right. 13 wheels. Okay, so I guess once, if I plug it up like this, it won't, it won't, you know, cut on because it's actually trying to charge. So when I disconnect it. So, that's, this will charge up the lithium battery. And this is a good damn thing to have. It's good. All right. Um, this 18 wheels. This video is over with. And um, y'all seen the two items right here. Open box items that I got. Uh, something that you can use for the truck. If you driving truck cross country. Or if you just need this for your personal use at the shop. Or whatever. You know something that's. Uh that you might might need. All right, five years, this last five years. All right, it's 18 wheels. I'll get with y'all in the next video. Peace. Ryobi.